Hey Aries, welcome to Queen Airbender of Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of April general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you are doing well. And also happy birthday season for you all out there. Okay, so it's going to be a very interesting reading. I already, I'm already picking up. I got two songs for you guys, and it's rare that I get two songs for when I'm doing, you know, channeling for um, the signs, but I heard the first song, I believe it's um, I Learned From The Best by Whitney Houston, and the second song is Jolene by Dolly Parton. I will leave the link to both songs in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. So I feel like some of you guys found out about something in um, Pisces season, which we literally just left out of. I feel like this was something that was very challenging. There could have possibly been a breakup, most definitely, because I've seen the Tower card, and that's Major Arcana. That's definite energy. Um, you had a lot of earthy energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and also water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals may play a role in this. Um, as I said, with the Tower card, that's representative of your energy, and also Scorpio, so that may apply to someone out there. But, yeah, it looks like there was some type of... Um, Epiphany. I'm hearing epiphany. There was some type of breakdown. So if there wasn't a breakup, somebody could suspect something and it could have started as early or as late as Pisces season because I also had the high priestess that's Pisces and then I had the devil card that's Capricorn, but the devil talks about deception. Okay. Some type of unknown secret or, you know, it, it has a heavy energy energy to it connected to some type of suspicious behavior because to have two of those, okay, you have those two major arcanas back to back, right? You have the high priestess and then you have the devil. Somebody suspects that someone is guilty of someone, something. Someone suspects that someone is up to no good. And I feel like somebody found that out. And I feel like it was literally a Pisces season. This could be someone that you have a great deal of history with because I did see the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is always someone that you already know. Okay? It'd be at this lifetime or past lifetime, you always know this person when you're dealing with Six of Cups energy. Okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to part the deck, change the card at the top and the bottom. We'll do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks. So if I get any, I will read it as such. At the bottom. Okay, so um, <laughs> you guys have all this major arcana. So here's the thing. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Libra, some Moon Rising Venus individual with the Justice card. But more than anything, the, the saying, the phrase that I heard was sweet revenge. Okay. I feel like you guys, even, even if this was something that was very hurtful, very painful, I feel like the scales are getting ready to be balanced in your favor. Okay. Matter of fact, it looks like it definitely will because, again, you have Major Arcana. Anytime you have Major Arcana energy, that's the universe stepping in, saying that we are here supporting this because this is where you're meant to be on this journey. This is meant to happen right now. So I feel like something, whatever someone did to you, it's about to come to, for, to the forefront. And if you don't know about it, I feel like some of you guys don't know. You just may have suspected with the high priestess that I, I've seen earlier in the pre-shuffle. Some of you guys may not know about it because she's clearly blindfolded. And keep in mind, you guys, all my readings are gender neutral. So when I'm saying she, I'm just telling you about the cards. You know, she or he, I'm just telling you what I see on the um, cards. But somebody does not see something. Also, I'm getting that somebody didn't want to see something, but they felt it all along because the high priest is also very intuitive and she's an empath. Okay. So some of you guys could have felt it all along, but didn't really want to see it. Okay. Hence why she's blindfolded. But now it's like this is no way around it. You have no choice but to see it. Okay, so what we're going to do is shuffle your deck up right three times until we get the major icon for your sign, which would be the emperor. And this applies for males and females. We'll get the card that comes before, the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both. For Pi um, Oh, and I just said Pisces. So some of you guys, this definitely happened in Pisces season. And for others, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Also, like I said, I got Earth, strong Earth, predominantly Taurus. If you're connected with a Taurus sun sign specifically, Make sure you watch the Taurus reading because that may resonate with your situation, okay? So let's part the deck so that we can shuffle. Yep, ooh, okay. Some of you guys could definitely be an air sign. You have Libra here with the Major Icon or Justice card. And then you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Seven of Swords. So I, again, I'm going to say someone was being sneaky, okay? She's blindfolded, so she's not seeing what they're doing. There. And then you can clearly see this person sneaking, okay? One foot in the door, one foot out, okay? Which is giving me a vibe that somebody stepped out on someone, Okay? That's just it, and that's just all. I always tell you guys, anytime I see characters with hoods or a face shield on where you can't see their full description, it's something hidden about them. And the Seven of Swords is literally liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver, okay? Someone who can't be trusted. And keep in mind, I said earlier, I seen a devil card. So somebody, yeah, 
It's an energy that somebody is, woo, okay. You guys got a lot of Pisces energy right here. Hey, man, bottom of the deck, and that's Major Arcana. You have Pisces, and look what's sticking up. More Pisces, whoa. Okay, so some of you guys are definitely dealing with someone who has Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or again, anytime I see Major Arcana as a sign, I feel like something happened literally, like, recently in Pisces season. Now, here's the thing. Hey, man, is being stuck in limbo, barely hanging on by a thread. Um, this could have broken you to the point where you felt like you were literally hanging on by a thread, but I feel like somebody may be trying to come back towards you. I feel like somebody's trying to think of a way to come back towards you and offer you some type of cup, some type of emotional communication is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. But I feel like you may have already turned your back on them. And it's interesting because this is you, this is Wands, and keep in mind we just left. We're, we're constantly, we're currently, and I'm saying constantly, so some of you guys may have constantly been going through cycles with this individual, but we're currently still in March as I'm doing this reading, but this is three, right? So that's giving me the energy of March, but it looks like you're turning your back on this person in March and you're looking towards the future because he's looking at the sunset. So some of you guys, and this is your card that we're ending with. So I feel like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Two of cups. Some, some of you guys are definitely dealing with water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for others, it looks like, you know, you turned your back on a relationship or you felt like you had no choice is what I'm getting. Yeah. See, before I can even get through it, look at that. You got the five of swords, five of wands. Wow, I'm saying five of swords. So there was an argument. Then five of wands is tug of war. Look at this. You guys are watching this, right? High priestess again. So you found this, yeah. And that's why I said five of swords. That's arguments and conflict. But this conflict also, I feel like you found something out. I told you that high priestess found something out. You may have confronted this person and it led to a heated argument because if you have wands, it's fire like yourself. Let's go through the deck and then we're going to get the emperor. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. There was some type of argument. There was definitely some disagreements. Um, hmm, it's interesting. I'm even hearing this rapport. And I'm holding this down so you guys can see that I'm going through it thoroughly until we get your card and the emperor is all the way to yeah. Okay, so we made it halfway through the deck. And then here we are here and we're start we're stopping at the very top with the chariot. So, so there was some type of forward movement. Either you moved away from a situation or some information moved towards you. You could have got some type of information regarding a third party situation from a water sign, particularly a cancer because you have major arcana of chariot. You guys got a lot of major arcana here. So this was something that was reckoned meant to happen already. Okay. So the first card that comes before it, page <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Remember, I told you guys, for some of you, I'm hearing something very strongly about a Taurus. And then you have the card right behind it. Yes. So for some of you all, it's definitely a Earth or a Water sign. You have the Queen of Cups and Eight of Wands. Yeah. Somebody's going to come back towards you trying to communicate is what I'm getting. Hmm. Okay. So you have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus. And then you have the Queen of Cups, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I always notice in this card that she's looking down towards these three lily pads and she's holding her cup almost like she was reflecting on how she gave of herself and somebody extended and expanded their self you know to someone else what's interesting is that they both are facing the same direction so the outside person the third party could be an earth sign doesn't have to be but i'm really picking up that there's definitely some type of third party situation because all of these cars you know there's people in all of them you got two male figures and one female in the middle well technically the emperor Mm. And you know what? Now that we look at it this way, <laughs> they're both facing him. So some of you all could also have a decision between two people. With the page of pentacles, somebody could be much younger or it could be immature in nature. Let's see what we get for your clarifiers. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, wow. And you guys watched me part this at the beginning of the reading, right? Three. And I just said this right here. You literally have... Three different people. You have a queen, a king, and then a page. So that's this is definitely giving me a vibe that there's an outsider who came in, okay? Because a king and queen, that's a pair. Even though they are different elements, that's a pair. So they were already together. So somebody could have been married, engaged, or in a long-term relationship, and then an outsider came in. Very strong um, earth sign energy, possibly. Mm. And also, I'm going to say, because of this watery energy, even though it's predominantly cancer, I feel like during Pisces season, somebody could have found out about a third party. And it's interesting, wow. And it's interesting because the third party I feel like is an earth sign. And then you have the three of pentacles. Towards Virgo Capricorn, towards Virgo Capricorn. 
Let's see what we get for you guys today for your clarifiers as we part the day. Yeah, somebody. Okay, so again, I'm going to say, I feel like somebody came in rushing to tell some information. Now, here's the thing. This third party could have came in and spoke on this situation because they were upset that either you left your partner or the person who stepped out was going back to their partner and they felt like someone was going to leave their spouse or their companion. And so they're trying to cause havoc. Because this person with the Knight of Swords is someone coming in very quickly and they're ready for some type of confrontation or disagreement because he's here to tow an armor. Okay, what does armor do? It protects you, it shields you, you know, conceals something. But he has that sword up like he's already ready for some type of confrontation or conflict. So somebody knew what they were doing. Mm. And then you got the Justice card in reverse. And remember, we just had that in your main energy spread. So yeah, somebody knew. I feel like this person knew what they were doing. And also the way that they're going about it, I feel like they're doing it in a shady way. They could definitely be an air sign also, okay? Because you have Justice right here that's Libra again. And then you have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, most people don't know, but the Queen of Cups is predominantly Cancer and Gemini. So they could be a Gemini individual. But somebody's coming in very quickly. And they, they want to say some things. But I feel like the reason that they're doing it is out of spite. Somebody's doing something out of spite and out of malice. Ooh, I just heard somebody say, I want to get my lick back. <laughs> in other words, like somebody wants revenge for something. Ooh, look at that again. Look at this. Same card. And then you have it right next to the Justice card. Now it's time of right. So somebody, I feel like there's, okay, it could be an Earth, air sign combination individual. Or, you know, whatever the case, this person is coming in telling. Somebody's saying something because both pages, okay, pages are people coming in with messages. They're always someone who's coming in with a message. And then you have it right next to um, balancing out those scales. And then swords, swords, communication, also mental. So somebody's coming in to hell a situation but i feel like it's out of some shady behavior because then on the last shuffle i just seen the devil yeah this and i say it's shady and now it's in reverse so i feel like somebody's coming in to say something just out of spite because they're angry about the outcome of a situation nonetheless i feel like whatever the situation is is truthful but the way the person is delivering the message is out of spite so let's get a clarifier for the page of pentacles okay look, look at this okay so you have the emperor flip up right what else <laughs> knight of, oh my god knight of cups Okay, and I'm going to take, yep, and then you got the lover's card. So I'm going to take this because the way it flipped out. And didn't I just say Gemini for some of you guys? You got the lover's, Gemini. Also, with this being Major Arcana and this is the lover's card, that also talks about someone needing to make a decision. So some of you guys are going to have to make a decision about whether or not you trust this person. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, if it's an outside person and it's a, literally a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone who rides the Venus individual, I feel like this person is bashing you and bad mouth for you. And making you seem very like a bad guy. Also, for some of you guys, you could be doing the cheating. And if you are, I feel like somebody's going to try to expose you. And of course, no one in the comments will say <laughs> that they're cheating. But if you are, I'm just going to let you know. Because this is the Major Arcana for your sign, right? I feel like they're trying to expose you. And keep in mind, Major Arcana trumps any card that it comes with. Okay, and that's clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody's going to try to badmouth you. And even if you're not cheating, I feel like somebody is still trying to badmouth you. That's what I'm getting. Also, it could be a, a water sign. Your partner could be a water sign or your water sign person could be doing this also because, it, you know, both of your clarifiers are coming in reverse. Okay. Um, and it just seems like all in association, this person is, mm, okay. So I'm also hearing that if there was a cheating scenario, if, even if you didn't do it, if you were accused of it, and especially if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual, I feel like they may step out too just to get their lick back. Because I'm telling you, I keep hearing like this person say, I want to get my lick back. Like you cheat on me, so I'm going to cheat on you. Okay, because you have the Queen of Cups being clarified by the um, Knight of Cups in reverse. Again, I'm going to say, a Knight is someone who goes, they're either going into battle or coming out of battle. Okay, oh, right, he's going out of battle in reverse. Look at that, you know. Anything in reverse in this nature, because this is a loving card, someone who's offering a cup of love, um, very peaceful, tranquil, his mask is up so you can see him, you know what he's about, he or she, it's coming up in reverse. So I feel like this person is, like I said, they want to get their lick back. Again, I feel like for some of you all, you are being accused of cheating and it wasn't true, but your partner may have believed it and they may have stepped out too just to revenge. I'm hearing sweet revenge. Mm. Cause even, yeah, look at it. Cause on the table, this is how the clarifying cards are. You see how you have that Knight of Cups and he's facing the direction, going in the direction of the Emperor in reverse. 
So this person feels like, okay, well, we're going to make sure that two wrongs make a right. Because if you did it, I'm going to do it too. I feel like some of you all are being accused of cheating. And if you did, I feel like <laughs> your person is wanting to get their just rights or just deserves also is what I'm getting from that. But there's definitely somebody in the equation who is being messy. I feel like a lot of the details that are being said are true. But the way that they're going about it, they're fueling the fire to make it a very toxic and tumultuous situation is what I'm getting out of this, okay? Mm. So, <laughs> I know this isn't much of a, a birthday reading, but again, it's a general reading. So if it doesn't apply, go ahead and let it fly. But somebody the situation resonates with because you're getting all of the same elements over and over again. You know what I mean? You get all the same elements with the inclusion of this earthy element. So I feel like there's an earthy, someone who has strong earth in a chart, who is a um, third party is what I'm getting. Okay. So Aries, someone rising Venus and the visuals as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.